Hello friends, welcome to SR Academy. Welcome to SR Academy. Empowering minds, igniting curiosity. Your gateway to knowledge unleashed. Let's get started. Today we are going to discuss about tissue repair. So far we discussed about tissue components and uh, tissue types. Uh, so let's see what is tissue repair. So we know that uh, normally, uh, the naturally, we are having like humans, animals or whatever it is. So if any injury happens to our tissue, like for example, the basic injury happens in skin, to skin, right? So what happens for after some times we will get that particular cells back okay and when obviously there will be a little bit scar that it will be formed but still we will get that particular things back right so that uh, uh, for example uh, this uh, in, in terms of the first degree of burn i will take an example of skin now so in terms of in terms of the first degree of skin burn so you will get that particular layer first layer very easily okay that that takes hardly two to three days and you will get uh, within a week you will get the new tissue formed when it is about a little bit second degree where epidermis and dermis uh, is destroyed the uh, layers are destroyed so it takes bit you know a lot of time to recover so that lot of cells are damaged and eSIM has been ruptured that takes a lot of time to repair right and then a lot of proteins should be involved components cell components should be involved all those things and usually the third degree burn where all underlying whatever the tissue is there everything is damaged okay that requires a surgery or maybe grafts skin grafts or the similarly whatever the skin grafts we use already in the hospitals they are again uh, the very conventional old techniques also can be used for just a cell based therapy for what they have to use they used to use or you can use tissue engineering with the uh, tissue grafts so that you can go for uh, integration of the tissue grafts with the host tissues okay so let's start the topic so wound healing process is nothing but one of the most common phenomena which is exhibited by the biopsy tissue and the tissue grafts it is exhibited from biopsy tissue in, in the sense biopsy tissue is nothing but you will be taking the tissue and you will be doing the uh, particular experiment a set of experiments in vitro on the inside the laboratory and the tissue and finally will form a tissue grafts so immediately after implement in implantation of the tissue grafts what happens it initially sh shows a healing response so slowly it starts showing the healing response which is then followed by the integration of the tissue grafts again and then with the host tissue so once this is done wound healing is highly coordinated process involving a series of cellular events here a lot of events will come into picture that we will have a separate topic for that that we will there we will discuss that occur in a damaged tissue and it varies with age imagine for example whenever we are kids, we were kids we used to fall a lot because of uh, we used to go for playing that here and there we used to fall a lot a lot of injuries used to happen but after a week we are good to go if there will be if it is the injury was too serious uh, we might have got you know, everyone at least might have got that particular single single you know, scratch on their face or on their any parts of the body so that uh, uh, that is because of this that scar formation will be there that uh, definitely will be there but here what i was trying to say is when we are young or when you are uh, just uh, with the lesser the age what happens the more active these cells will be so that they, uh, they they will recover they will heal faster and when we are getting old and old like 40 50 60 and 70 the age is plays a very important role because you we know that high click uh, uh, limit that means every cells in our body they can undergo different uh, differentiation only to 30 to 50 times right so once you have aged in such a particular age like uh, 70 80 and all so few of the cells we will lose uh, and their activity their property we will lose so that the wound healing will be will take more time than the anger age so that's what uh, i was trying to say so wound healing is highly coordinated process which is involving a series of cell events that occur in damaged tissue and it varies with the age because there is all cellular events 
will not be same for all the age people so fetal wound healing and adult full healing two things can be uh, there are two different types are there they differ in the time taken for healing and also the scars that are formed during the healing process that means the fetal wound healing is quicker and faster as adult wound healing it takes time and the scar formation will be more whereas fetal wound healing scar formation will be very less so fetal wound healing fetal wound, wound healing is very fast and results in scarless tissue whereas while the other hand the adult wound healing is slow and results in the scar formation so that was about the tissue repair introduction and the next topic we are having sequence of events that underlie wound healings in that four different steps are there that we will discuss in the next class